In this lesson, students are thinking about where we see negative numbers in the world in which we live. And um, because we live in Canada, there are some negative numbers we all see um, called temperatures, and those are easy for students to deal with. But we need to broaden their experiences and think of other situations. Um, one of the traditional contexts for negative numbers is the notion of debt. And of course, for people like accountants, um, that really makes total sense. When they create spreadsheets, they actually use little brackets to represent a negative number. So a debt is, a, is, is even coded in a spreadsheet differently um, than an asset. But for kids, a lot of them think of debt still as we well, subtract a debt. They don't really think of it as a negative number. So we just have to recognize that that's going to be a little bit of a hitch for some kids and kind of do our best to work around it. One of the other contexts that we use is the notion of, of motion or travel, I might call it, where you talk about, let's imagine you're at a train station, you could be going east and call it a positive direction and west and call it a negative direction, or north and south if you were working sort of in a diff in a vertical number line almost situation. Um, and that tends to be actually quite a useful thing to help students see the mathematics of working with positive and negative integers. But again, it's gonna take kids some getting used to the idea and we're gonna have to do a little bit of helping them to make sense of it.